Hello, I'm Lena Taro. I'll be showing you how to construct a confidence interval for a single sample mean on the TI-8384 calculator. I'm going to show you how to do this in two ways, one way using raw data and one way using sample statistics. Let's start by taking a look at the raw data I have entered in list one. Here I have 20 values for 20 screens from a single day's production. This is the tension on those screens measured in millivolts. To construct my 90% confidence interval, I'll go to STAT, choose TESS, option 8, T interval. I want to use the raw data that I have stored in list 1. If you have your data stored in a list other than list 1, you'd have to choose the correct list here. All the values have been entered exactly once, so my frequency is 1. And my confidence level, I want to change to 90%. I come down to calculate, and my confidence interval is listed here along with my sample mean, sample standard deviation, and sample size. I can say that we are 90% confident that the interval from 292.32 to 320.32 millivolts captures the true mean tension in the entire batch of video terminals produced that day. Now let's take a look at an example that involves summary statistics. For this confidence interval, we'll hit STAT, go over to TESS, choose option 8, T interval, but instead of data, we'll be entering the statistics, the sample statistics, the sample mean, the sample standard deviation, and the sample size. We'll be entering sample data that was collected from 40 light duty engines, and this was the nitrogen oxide emission from the, this random sample of 40 light duty engines. So our sample mean was 1.2675. Our sample standard deviation was 0.3332. And our confidence level was 40. Excuse me, our sample size was 40. Our confidence level we want to be 95% confident. We'll go down to calculate. And here's our 95% confidence interval. So we are 95% confident that the interval from 1.16 to 1.37 grams per mile contains a true mean level of nitrogen oxides emitted by this type of light duty engine. 